Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I just woke up from a nice nap. It is now five in the morning or so. The sun should be rising shortly. Our locomotive is still there. Uh, and this is only about 20 minutes after I filmed the first episode. So, if you have written a comment, I haven't seen it yet. Sorry about that. I should also say, before we get going, and I should have said this at the beginning of the first episode, this is a uh, private beta version of the mod. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have a release date yet. It's just sort of here. I, I reached out to the person who is working on it and asked uh, if I could help playtest it, so anyway, here we are. I'm going to check if there are any errors. No errors. Okay. So we were going to work on this one, which, uh, well enough that we're not out on the road. So I'll just get this one out of the way, then. Uh, we're going to have three cars, one of which is at the front end of that track, one of which is at the back end of that track, and the other one is inside the steel mill. So, actually, one of which is uh, right here. We already have it. So, that in mind. Check, check. Turn that off, close the door, switches are already on, just the way that we left it. Oh, well, let me plug my headphones back in so you guys don't get any undue interference. And let's get this show on the road. So. We're going to need to use the Y to get around and get that other car. Uh, we could go down the main thoroughfare of the yard, or we could cut it a little bit short and take this one, take B3I. Uh, the input tracks on all the yards are empty by default. Uh, that's one of the things that this mod does. Whoops. so that when you take a consus to a yard that you've never been to, it doesn't uh, screw you up. There we go. I must have hit that too early. How quickly can I get this thing moving through the yard? I know it tops out at maybe 70 miles an hour or something like that. Or 70 kph, everything's in kilometers per hour. But, you know, I'm going to be calling it miles per hour this whole time, more than likely. I, I just can't help myself. Also, we have a cut of four cars here, which I assume are also going to the harbor. Um, and then I have this cut of cars. I talked about reorganizing the yard. I don't really think we have to do that yet, but in the future it might be worthwhile. And so there's the other car that we need. Something else that I'd like to do over the course of this playthrough, on top of unlocking all of the, uh, on top of unlocking all of the licenses and things, is to buy everything out of the shops. There are all the cassettes and everything, I don't really know uh, what that music sounds like. I know there's a mod where you can set it to do YouTube, which obviously we cannot do. Um, or, you know, Spotify or anything like that. Right. Put the brake on. Anytime you want to stop. Let's remember to put it in forward. If you guys remember how that last episode ended last week. Alright. I think these are going to be coming out on Mondays if I had to hazard a guess. Uh, we will see, though. Derail Valley Mondays. Derail Mondays. There's no, there's no M in Derail Valley. Uh, modded Mondays. It is modded. 
That's when I used to go do um, good old Train Man's modular Minecraft, which tempted to do more Minecraft. Almost played it yesterday uh, on stream, or well, yesterday being the Saturday that I did the Derail Valley stream. It was my first choice, and then I compulsively checked the Derail Valley. Uh, what you would call it? The the not the subreddit, but the Discord. And I saw somebody asking about uh, the persistent job spot, and I went, "Yes, my time has come." So that's what yesterday turned into. I didn't have much to do, so I just spent a bunch of time doing that. Oh, I got a ping, but it's not from not from that group. And stop the train. I'm trying to keep tabs on... If you see me just moving the mouse out, I'm trying to keep tabs on the Discord because there are people... There are other playtesters looking for things, figuring things out. And I will check this again and see that... No, nothing, nothing exciting. Oh, there's a... Uh... That's interesting. Shadow casting set on, changing it to off. I guess... I don't know. I don't have the game turned all the way up. There are a few settings that I have turned down uh, to make it run a little smoother. Right now it's running at about 45 to 50 FPS. Uh, and then when we get a little closer into everything, it runs down, down around 30. Which is fine for YouTube because... Uh, I only output video at 30 FPS. And it's fine for me because... Man, I, I have had such a bad computer for such a long time. Being able to run this at 30 FPS and have it look like this is such a godsend. Oh, right. Oh, whoops, wrong that no, one. Not that one. Dump it! Uh-oh. I stole it. <laughs> oh, 3.5%. That's rough. Thank goodness I have copay. I forgot what I was doing for a minute there. 0% on this one. 27%. Crap! 84. 97. Okay, so... We really set a shockwave down the line here. At least I got on the right track. Whoops. Anyway, let's, um... I could just go and pay that now. It's only a hundred bucks. Thank goodness for copay. Good, good thing the game uh, is so generous at the beginning. Uh, can I turn it back on? We didn't break the glass, which is good. I really thought we were going to break the glass. That's why I crouched. Um, okay, anyway. Back to work. Whoops. It'd be kind of funny if you got a car to like 0%, it would just explode. Not explode, but just break into pieces. And that would be it. Like, you couldn't you couldn't complete that job because you destroyed some of the cargo. Or you destroyed one of the cars, rather. Alright, we've got to go around again. Everything's okay. I really want to know what kind of damage we did. I'm usually pretty good with this. I just have other things to focus on now. Uh, which definitely heightens... You know, when you're 100% focused on this game, it's not that hard to not wreck stuff all the time. Uh, but, man, when you're doing other stuff, when you're trying to talk to an audience, when you're trying to, like, keep tabs on this or that, uh, when you're trying to think about what to say next and not leave those onerous three-second gaps... Uh, then, then you, you end up, you end up doing dumb stuff. Oops. Double clicked. 
Anytime you want to stop. Anytime. Oh, I just heard the air pump. That's cool. Alright, and then we need to go get the last car, then we need to put that away. Then we probably need to pay off our fees on account of what I just did before it'll let us take another job. I kind of want to know what kind of fees we racked up. Something that might be nice to have for persistent jobs is, um, well, the hand car and the caboose. Both of the work vehicles, because, again, fast travel's off, so I've got to uh, get between towns. If I run out of jobs in one town, I've got to hightail it to another. Which is something I should probably do relatively early to get the hand car, because once I have all the locomotives unlocked, there's probably never going to be a time when I'm in a place and there's nothing I can do. Whoa, okay, lag again. Let's, um, sync. Sync. It, the video stayed synchronized last time, so I don't really know why, you know, I don't know what the lag is. I don't really need to do that, I don't think, but just always make it sure. And this is how anemic this thing is. This is, I mean, I know it's a steep little hill, but still, damn. I did manage to get my, uh, when I finished up the last game, my copay was probably like a million bucks. It was, it was absurd. It was very, very high. Um, and that's the way it is when you have all the licenses unlocked. Which is sort of why, like, I said on the stream that this game doesn't have much of an end game, and it just strikes me that why... Like, when I have unlocked the last license, what is there to do after that, you know? Like, the Military 3 license is $400,000, and that's probably going to be the last thing you unlock. Just It's going to be the last thing just about anyone unlocks, I would imagine. Um, and then what? You've unlocked all the licenses. Like, there's no... Like, yes, you can continue driving around and stuff. If this is your zen, I don't blame you. But... There's no gameplay after that. There's there's nothing to achieve. And that's why I really had to stretch the game out. By making uh, money making it a little harder. I still have my doubts that I will ever bother to uh, run a military job, but we will see. Coming back through the yard. The hazmat stuff, once you unlock... Once you unlock, like, hazmat 2, that's bongo bucks right there. You can get some jobs that run from, like, the harbor to city southwest, and they're a hundred grand and realistic. Uh, you can... You can do more than that. I feel like when you start getting into, when you once you get concurrent jobs too, when you can do that, your money is best spent doing like way freights. You know, you sort of run, you, you know, you pick up a bunch of jobs that are all sort of going in the same direction. You run to the next town, you drop some stuff off, you pick some stuff up, and that's what I was doing uh, when I rounded out my other game. Yeah, and I'd, I just felt like persistent jobs wasn't going to matter so much. Uh, I genuinely felt like, well, if I only have to visit these towns a couple of times, you know, visit each town a couple of times to make enough money to unlock all the licenses, the fact that those cars stay there, it doesn't matter. I could just sort of go from one to the next and just ransack them, I guess.
the mid-game is definitely the most entertaining part for me. Although, I do wish that, um, you know, those cars are still over there. I do wish that the... that the fee tolerance was higher in the mid-game. And even in the end game. I mean, once you get over, like, 50k in fees, it says you have to pay something off. <clears throat> but that means you can't... Like, the game won't let you run a locomotive out of gas, basically. If you run normally, right, and then you show up to the next town... A5S, yeah, here we go. You run normally, you show up to the next town, even if you've run all the way across the map, like if you run a, a DE6 from City Southwest to Goods Factory, right? You get there, and you still probably have at least half a tank, if not three quarters of a tank. What do you do then? You know? You could just take that locomotive out again, and just to keep accumulating money instead of doing the manual service and paying off the fees. But the game won't let you. The game won't let you do that. You have to fix it right then, or it won't let you take any more jobs. And I find that to be kind of ridiculous. Alright. So, I mentioned in the stream that I might look for a mod that, like, dramatically increases your fee tolerance. Or, or even, perhaps, uh, turns off, like, the, the upper limit of fee tolerance in the first place. So you can just have as many as much fees as you want, but you do need to pay them all off before you uh, before you try to unlock a new license. Go. Grab that. Grab that. This is probably my first time playing this with headphones, and man, this place is noisy. Alright. That was a little loud. Let me shut the door. Okay, so we've got to fill these guys up with rails, and we got to tie them down when we do that, turn the job in, park them over there, and then figure out what the heck we're doing next. Because I have 16 grand. This is not going to be enough to put me over the top to get that uh, concurrent jobs. The D6 is still over there. Looks like there's another D2 as well, but I don't feel like trying to do... Well, maybe I can do multiple unit. I don't know how expensive that is. Oh, I didn't even check what the percentage on this locomotive was. Although, I will figure it's not that low, because, I mean, let's face it, the windows are all still here. We didn't smash the thing. We just, you know, gave it a little nudge. Alright, put it in reverse, stop any time you like. I like alternating the brakes like that, so that while we're finishing the coming to a stop part, all the brakes in the cars are getting recharged. And I've mentioned this before, but I wish there was a switch here to just turn off the uh, brake pump. So that we could drive this thing around with just the handbrake. Without airing anything up at all. Let's see here. Alright. Conversation in thing. So he's working on despaghettifying the code, the person who's working on the mod, which is nice, uh, because there's some weird stuff happening that may or may not be as a result of the port, and hopefully we can figure that all out. Let's get this on the other side of the, uh, the doodad here. I've sort of mentioned my suggestions for, you know, what I, what I think would improve the mod. Now that we have a day-night cycle, it might be neat to... Jesus, it's loud. Uh, now that we have a day-night cycle, it might be nice to only generate new jobs 
with the cars that are in the yard. Uh, you know, like once a day. And so you can come here and you can do a whole bunch of shunning jobs and sort of finish those job chains up. And then you'll leave the cars around and the game figures it out for you. The game decides, oh, okay, you're going to need to do this and this. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? It's just going to take some getting used to, like I said. Man, we're only 20 minutes in and we've only done one thing, but we sure have wrecked a train. 19 out of 108 minutes. 14 grand, so now I've got... Oh, I've got 31, but... $100 to clear all the fees. Oh! Wait, can I... It's a touch screen? What? I don't have to use the buttons? Today I learned. Okay, I only need uh, $100 to clear all the fees. I'll do that later. I'll do that once I have finished organizing these. So all of these need to go to the harbor. And that is 200, 200, 200, so that's 660 or so. Plus this, which is another 200 or so. So we're looking at like almost 900 tons. Yeah, that's like, that's a DE6, or like a DH4 if you really want to struggle, or an, a 2A2, I guess. Alright, so this guy can go over here, because I want to do a logistical haul, and if I have to get long one, I might as well do, like, this one. But that's, yeah, it's 122 tons, that's actually not that bad. Um... Let's go move that, uh, that consist. And I'll move the other four cars while we're here, because I feel bad just leaving them. Alright, break. So... Find a place to put those. Maybe I'll just put them over there. That's gonna be a pain to move them though. At least I will have more breaks. Okay, lag. Do that. Sink. Sink. And I will just have to check that sink point, too, when I come back through here. I don't think I set any of these handbrakes. No, I probably didn't. Nope, sure didn't. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can lug this out to there and then back them into the sidings there. I said I can jump to notch three, but I don't really need to. Yeah, I'll put it in 5S. It's not really where it belongs. It belongs back in 4S, but it's fine. I've screwed up 5 and 4 before, so it won't really matter. And I'll make a note here. Um... A4S consist is in A5S. Everything else, as long as we don't move it, it won't uh, it won't be a problem because the game will tell us where it belongs or where it uh, you know where it started, where it's supposed to be. The game will tell us where it is, because it is where it was generated. Let's see here. Start slowing down. Alright, finish slowing down. No. Too soon. I 
if someone tried to call me. Alright, now we're good. I don't trust it. I'm gonna go look. I don't want to start in multi-track drifting. Alright, cool. We're clear. We're already 25 minutes into this episode, and we have done one thing. God damn. We will be here a while. My intention was not to do every shunting job here, but... I wanted to get some money before we headed out. Come on, you can do it. No wheel slip. Oh, okay, lag. One, two. Don't understand what that lag was about, but what's doing it more? Um... I don't know what's going on. Let me check my computer. It seems to be just this is the only thing that's really doing anything. If it keeps it up, I'll probably restart the game between this episode and next. I like trains with a lot of momentum being able to just coast like this. Alright. Although we will eventually come to a stop. Do a little jumpy jump. I still can't quite tell if it spawned another locomotive over there. I don't think it would have because we haven't really been, uh... We haven't really been, you know, sort of out of the neighborhood. I guess we drove across the river most of the way. I can't quite tell. It does look like it spawned something else over there. And it does look like another DE2. Yeah, it's another DE2. Okay, interesting. It's, uh, it's sort of, like, enticing us. It's telling us we should get the multiple unit license. And do that. Just run a pair of DE2s back to back. Or both facing the same direction. Uh. Because, as long as they're both facing the way that they're going, you get maximum cooling. Okay. I'm going to... Once we're past the fouling point, which we are, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn on a singular handbrake. Alright, let's get this thing tucked away and see if we can run a train. Thank goodness for insurance. Or else we'd be paying all of this money. Also, I can't waste my money on fast traveling, so that's just, this is it. Like, it's just uh, breaking trains and buying stuff. That's gonna be my only my only money out. Shouldn't uh, should we pay? We, we could pay taxes. That's a thing that we need to do. What's income tax in the valley? like professional licensing fees. I mean, I guess that we do already pay that. Um, I've used these once. I love the underground coal conveyor sort of deal. I don't feel like that's super realistic, but, you know, whatever. It's there. You know, it's interesting to see, to hear the, uh, the relays click when you move the throttle out of notch zero. Uh, the thing that really gets me is that it's so, it's so obvious and it takes so long 
on the DE6. And I'm going to assume that's sort of how it works in real life, because this is a very accurate simulation, um, as far as I've come to understand. The uh, simulation is doing its best to be real life, and I really like that lack of instant response, you know? It feels very real, and it feels very, you know, like you're in control of a large vehicle. And uh, not in the way that... Okay. Sink. Sink. Not in the way that, um, sort of the fuzzy... Like, you put, on, you put on the brakes and it slows down very slowly or speeds up very slowly. Like, yes, those do make you feel like you're in control of something big, but not in the same way as, like, I have entered a direct input and it should have, like, a direct consequence, and that takes a second. I'm gonna go restart the game after, uh... I'll check on this again. It doesn't seem like, uh... It doesn't seem like there are any errors or anything going on. No red text. Which is nice. Which is good, it means that stuff works. Alright, well, let's see. This episode, if I decide to run a, uh, a job, this episode is going to run long. The other thing is this locomotive is facing the wrong way, but we can we can fix that one. Um, oh, when they cut a cars, it's probably going to be facing the wrong way. So we've got to grab it, then we've got to back up, um, pull out, go around the Y, which, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Oop. Uncouple. Leave it here. Let's set a uh, handbrake on this. Just one this time. And let's see. What, what can we do? How much money do we have? So let's um let's pay the fees. Yay, we did it. All right, we've got 30 grand. So we can do some logistical hauls. Oh wait, no, those are at these are the uh the empty things are at the other end. Okay. So let's grab some licenses then. I I click on licenses. Oh, I get it. Wait. Oh, and I can scroll. Oh, I'm learning so much stuff today. Um, concurrent one is what I need. Wait a minute. Is that a long job? No. Oh, son of a gun. Well, we can take these cars, although that's cheap. Why would we do that? Uh... There's no more shunting jobs here, so we have to leave. Um, and everything else is logistical halls. Tough. Concurrent oh, one. Um. Hmm. That's tough. Um, the only thing I can really do, because these are all way too heavy. These are all way too heavy. We could grab two locomotives and do them without MUing, but man, do I not want to deal with that. Um, this one is a long two, so we definitely can't. This one is a long one, so if we had another ten grand, we could do it. Um, or so, or 20 grand, I don't know. 
These all... I could do this. I really don't want to go to the harbor, though. Also, I'm on the wrong end. Um, and then we have logistical halls. This one's 8k. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. In order for me to buy a logistical hall, I need concurrent orders one. So let's buy that. You guys might know where I'm going with, uh, where I'm going here. Concurrent orders one. And then logistical hall. Just right here. Yep. Alright, so now we have like a thousand dollars left, so we better not crash. Uh, oh, this actually doesn't increase my insurance copay, which is nice. Um, where, should, where the heck? Oh, is my license still on the ground over there? Whatever. Um, this increases my copay by, by four grand, so it's going to be $4,100. Um, this one and this one. The max, the mass of this together is 110, 120 tons-ish. Uh, and it's not a lot of money, but it's, it's enough. So we're looking for three of these and four of these. Now, those four are those four, and those three, I think, are the ones over here. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is what we're doing. Now, we might have to end this episode at, like, the halfway mark. Because I'm really going to try... I'm trying to keep them to, like, 45 minutes. But... Alright, let's, um... Let's start putting the train together first. Alright. Turn the handbrake off. Close that door. Alright, cool. So, which ones are we going to grab first? I mean, we should probably grab the shortcut um, of hoppers. Because they're the heavier ones. And because I have to drive... Or I have to drop the flat cars off first. But the reason I don't want to do that is because I'm not going to be able to see around the hoppers. You know, I'll be able to do this, but I won't be able to see much around the hoppers. That's sort of what I'm concerned about. But it will be a little bit less annoying. No, I'll just back them into whatever track. Actually, yeah, I'll have to go past whatever track and then back them in. It's going to take me an extra minute, but it should functionally be easier to drive. Um with the hoppers in the back. I don't know any other cuts of three hoppers out here, so... This better be it. Come on, let's get a move on. The difference in handling between overhaul and the simulator, it really does... It really does matter, you know? It really is significant. called working with what you got. Uh, let's throw that switch ahead of time, because we're going to need to. And yeah, we'll grab these four flat cars, we'll grab those three, and then we will pull out, we will back up to the Y, and then we will Y the train, and then head off to, to thing. Oh, shoot. Seventy-six. Damn, these flat cars are fragile. Well, whatever. We have insurance. 
Alright. I set the handbrake on this one, yep. Okay. On to the next cut. And... Brakes are off. And then when we get there, once we make the money here, I really don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, we'll be at the Iron Mine when we're done. So, shoot, Iron Mine West, what even spawns there? Let's see, Iron Mine, what is this, a military base? Uh, Iron Mine West. That is a small place. So, at least it has maintenance, but according to this it only has steam maintenance. Oh wait, no. Yeah, it has a repair station and steam facilities. So, hmm. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, assemble the train and then I'm going to end the episode. This, this 45 minutes or so has flown much more than the previous 45 minutes. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Less, uh, less head scratching, I don't know. Alright, drop that down to zero. Let's try not to have too many, uh, really fast couples going forward, because we're, we keep breaking stuff. We haven't broken the locomotive yet, which is nice, but... That's the thing, I want to keep my beat-up locomotive. That's the other reason why I don't love the incredibly low fee tolerance. I want to keep my beat-up locomotive. I want to beat the crap out of it until it stops working. I don't want to have to fix it after every single run. I, or rather, I don't want to be forced to fix it after every single run. That's what makes the difference. Alright. Let's see. Mias, Boris. So yeah, those look like the right ones. Because there are a couple of consists of hoppers in the yard, but... Those aren't, those aren't the ones that we need. And I think I'm going to dump it at maybe half a car. Or maybe not even dump it. Maybe just let some of the air out and put on a smallish set. Alright, not quite. That's okay, it's a safety stop. Oh, I, I don't know what's going on with this game. You know, if it doesn't, uh, if none of those lag spikes actually hurt the synchronization of the video, I suppose it's not that big of a deal, and I won't need to keep doing that, because uh, I don't know if you guys find it as annoying as I do. Not the lag, the having to keep checking the sync. It makes me nervous, is what it does. Okay. Let me check to make sure the handbrake is off. That one is. And... I think we are just about ready to go. We're gonna have to shove back through the yard and all that. But we're at uh, 44 minutes now, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go over and get those jobs. heck was that? Uh, I got growled at. I look, my things. We'll have to bring the caboose over here at some point. Um, okay, so. That's, um, that's everything. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, we, we can still take. Hold on. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine going to be these two jobs right here. And uh, I'll see you next week when we take them. This is the Admiral, signing off.